Good evening friends. When the finance minister made her tax announcements today, the Nifty 50 was trading in a positive territory. A few minutes after she commended the union budget 2023 to the house, the index made an intraday high of 17,972. It appeared that the street has taken to the budget speech in a positive manner. A few minutes later, the index fell and fell off a cliff. The day's high of 17,972 soon turned into day's low of 17,356, a 600 point drop in a few minutes. The lows of the day were the lowest intraday levels since August last year. However, both Sensex and the Nifty 50 recovered as swiftly as they fell from the intraday's high. While the Sensex ended 160 points higher, the Nifty 50 recovered more than 250 points from the day's low to end 45 points lower. A couple of factors sold sentiment across the street. First came the Adani Group companies, which looked to have some, some balance of normalcy at the start of the trade, but soon went back to their respective lower circuits. The drop was triggered by a Bloomberg report, which said that Credit Suisse has stopped accepting bonds of Adani Group companies as collateral for margin loans to its private banking clients. As a result, Adani Wilmar Adani Power and Adani Gas ended at their respective lower circuits of 5% and 10% respectively. The bigger casualty was Adani Enterprises which ended 26% lower. The stock is now Rs. 1100 below its FPO price of Rs. 3276. Adani Ports also ended 18% lower. Another sector that was worst hit was insurance. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman in her budget speech proposed to take away the tax-free advantage from traditional insurance plans issued on or after April 1, 2023, whose annual premium is over Rs. 5 lakh. However, this won't impact taxation of unit-linked insurance plans. Shares of HDFC Life, SBI Life declined 10% and 9% respectively, making their worst single day drop in 3 years. In today's session, the top gainers were ITC, Tata Steel and ICIC Bank and top losers were Adani Enterprises, Adani Ports and HDFC Life. Thank you.